Hey everybody, so there were two fantastic hockey games last night, but that's not what anyone is talking about today. All the talk around the hockey world is Tom Wilson's hit on Zach Aston Reese last night. And uh, I've watched this hit a bunch last night. I watched it again this morning. Um, I've seen it in real time. I've seen it in slow-mo. And the big question is, was it dirty or was it clean? And I'm just going to say I think it's a good hit. Um, Wilson lined Aston Reese up from uh, in the neutral zone. And uh, Aston Reese had his head up. He saw him coming. And he didn't really do anything to get out of the way. He was lower than Wilson. And Wilson came in. He kept his feet on the ice. He hit with his shoulder. He had the he had the elbow tucked like you're supposed to. It wasn't an elbow at all. He and he drove his shoulder through Aston Reese. And uh, Aston Reese, he originally I think he took the contact on his shoulder and then it bounced up and ended up hitting like the front part of his shoulder and his jaw, which is why he uh, has a broken jaw and a concussion now. But um, there's nothing Wilson can do there. That is a fine hit he lined him up he it's not like he just like he missed and he just glanced him on the chin or something he didn't stick out his elbow he didn't leave his feet he did come up after the hit from that but it was the impact of the hit that forced him to come up after when the initial contact was made both his skates were on the ice um that's a legal hit and penguins fans aren't gonna like it but that is hockey and I think that that's a perfectly fine legal hit, and it's a huge hit. Um, Aston Reese got obliterated, but that this is a contact sport. Like, that's going to happen. Um, just because someone gets injured doesn't make it a dirty hit. Um, just like if someone's not injured, it doesn't mean the hit wasn't dirty. You know, if, if Wilson left his feet in that instance, then it's a very dirty, suspendable hit much like the Nazem Kadri hit on Tommy Wingles. If you leave your feet, it's it's dirty and going to be a suspension. Wilson didn't leave his feet before the initial contact, so that makes it a clean hit. He hit with his shoulder, that makes it a clean hit. Um, it's not Wilson's problem that Aston Reese was so much lower than him. Uh, that You've got to make body contact in the playoffs. You can't just pull up and let him go for a skate. He drove through him. And he did everything he could to make it shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder contact. And after the shoulder was hit, he caught him in the jaw. And that's just something that's going to happen in hockey. Um, I think that it's a clean hit. A lot of the analysts on NBC and the, the former players talking about the hit thought that it was a clean hit. Um, I, Tom Wilson plays on the edge. There's no doubt about that. He is, con he is one of the most physical players left in the modern game. And he plays hockey like it was like it's 1990, not like it's 2018. But and there's a lot of things he does that is that are dirty. He leaves his feet on a lot of his hits. This time he did not. This was a clean hit. And as much as people, especially Penguins fans, want to complain about it, I just I don't think you have an argument. Um, it it's hockey. Um, Things like this are going to happen when you play a contact sport where hitting is not only allowed, it's encouraged, especially in the playoffs. Um, the game is so fast and it's the players are so big and everything is just so uh, happens so quickly that you're not going to get a perfect shoulder to shoulder, no head contact, no whiplash hit. Um, every single time there's going to be some gray area and this sure it crosses into the gray area but wilson did everything right in this situation and if you're going to start suspending guys for doing everything right i think there's a big problem in this league and um you might as well just take hitting out if that's not a good hit because the, he, he didn't do anything wrong he made no attempt to do anything wrong he wasn't trying to hit him in the head he lined him up, he threw a shoulder, clean shoulder check, and it just so happens that Aston Reese got hurt. That's not Wilson's problem. Um, if you want to take hits like that out of hockey, then you might as well just take hitting out of hockey, and you can kiss your TV ratings and most of your viewers goodbye. Um, the, 
the, that's just the way it is. Now, Penguins fans, um, they're furious at Wilson because of his hit on Brian Dumoul in the game before, which is another hit where what else could he have done? He was literally just skating by, and and he just happened to catch Dumoul and with he, he made no attempt to hit him in the head. Um, I think the league got that one right. It will be interesting to see what the league does with this one because Wilson is obviously a guy that's always on their radar, and they might um, they might want to send a message here, but I think that would be completely wrong for them to target somebody just to send a message on a play that isn't that he didn't really do anything wrong on. Um, Penguins fans are furious. Penguins, the team is furious, but what I think they should be more furious about is that nobody did anything about it. Where was Jamie Oleksiak? He should have... Wilson should not have touched the ice again in that game without having to fight. And now we've got Mike Sullivan after the game saying, oh, it's, the league needs to do something about this. You do something about this. This is hockey. This is the way hockey has been since its creation. It's not the league should do something about this. You have players on that bench, specifically Jamie Oleksiak, who can physically do something about this. Grab Wilson around the neck and start throwing punches. Like if, if you've got a problem with the hits, then start throwing punches. You had Ryan Reeves on your team for this exact reason. You went out in the offseason after last playoffs and brought in Ryan Reeves because your team was sick of getting pushed around physically. And that you were complaining about the treatment of your star players by the other team physically. What do you do before the playoffs this year? Trade Ryan Reeves away. And now look what's happening again. Your team is getting physically obliterated and pushed around in the playoffs. The Penguins are not going to the Stanley Cup final this year. Someone is going to knock them out and the physicality of the game is going to be a big reason why. I didn't... I wasn't furious at the Penguins when they traded Reeves away because they brought in Oleksiak. And Oleksiak is a big boy and can certainly handle himself with the gloves off. But it, it, it's a disgrace and an embarrassment that he didn't do anything to Tom Wilson last night. Absolutely disgraceful. This is hockey. This is the way hockey has been for the... the as long as it's been around as a sport, is that you handle these things on the ice. If you don't like the way someone's playing, you send a message, you go to him, you throw punches at his face and tell him that he can't do that anymore. And the wussification of the league has ruined that part of the game. And the Pittsburgh Penguins are the epitome of the new NHL, and I think it's finally going to catch up to them this year because they continually are getting players absolutely railroaded in these playoffs and they're doing nothing about it. The best response I've seen from the Penguins in this playoffs came from Phil Kessel when Carl Hagelin got destroyed by Claude Giroux with another perfectly clean hit. But you, you know what? Kessel stuck up for his teammate. He went after Giroux. Giroux wouldn't fight, which was kind of a shame on him, but um, at least Kessel did something. The fact that nobody did anything to Tom Wilson last night is a disgrace. And if Wilson's not going to accept a fight, then you just grab him and start throwing punches. Um, in the other game last night, we saw exactly what should have happened after this hit. Um, Austin Watson obliterated Blake Wheeler in the, in the um, Winnipeg zone. And Mark Shifley, before anyone could even think about what was happening, immediately went after Watson. And Mark Shifley is not a tough guy. Mark Shifley is a star player for the Winnipeg Jets. And he immediately, without any hesitation, went after Austin Watson after that hit. And um, they didn't end up fighting, but they did get roughing penalties. So that's what you do in a situation like that. But no, the Penguins just sit there and do nothing, and then they whine to the league after the game. They are the epitome of the new NHL, which infuriates old school fans like me and is the reason so many people hate the Penguins. Um, if Tom Wilson plays next game and doesn't fight in that game, it it's just, it, it's ridiculous. Jamie Oleksiak should be out there for, for Tom Wilson's first shift of the game and should follow him around the ice until they drop the gloves. Or, if Wilson won't fight, you just punch him. Kevin Miller did it earlier this year for the Bruins in a game against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Um, I forget who it was. One of the Blue Jackets boarded a Bruin in the corner and Miller flew right in and just started raining right hands down on him. 
just started throwing punches. He took the instigator penalty. Who cares? Take the instigator, fire your team up, and show that you're not going to be pushed around. Um, it's just it's ridiculous that the Penguins don't do anything about this, and then they go whining to the league about it. Um, settle it on the ice. To me, it was a clean hit. And the fact that Aston Reese got hurt is a shame. Obviously, I don't wish injury upon anybody, even if it's, he plays for a team that I don't like, like the Penguins. I, it's not. I never want to see people get injured, and I hope Aston Reese can recover quickly. Um, he's a broken jaw and a concussion are two pretty serious injuries. Um, he's probably done for this series at least, and maybe the whole playoffs, which. Um, is, is not obviously what you want. But the hit was clean, in my opinion. Um, Wilson did nothing wrong. He lined him up. He drove through him with his shoulder. And that's how you that's how you hit in hockey. As someone who's watched hockey forever and has played hockey for years, that's exactly how you're supposed to hit somebody. Um, you know, Wilson plays on that edge. It's, it's tough to compare him to someone. Um, he's certainly the only player of his type, really, um, left in the game now the who he's not super big but he's still good sized he and he's a decent player too it's not like he's a fourth line goon who's just out there to fight and hit like he he's got seven points in these playoffs and he had a good season scoring wise this year and he certainly can play hockey there's a reason he's playing on the top line with Kuznetsov and Ovechkin um He's had a he's really been good offensively this season and in these playoffs. It really started last playoffs last year where he took off offensively, but um, he also plays very physically. And I it's tough to compare him to somebody. The he, I think he has a little bit of Darcy Tucker in him. Um, I think the closest comparison that I can come up with is um, former capital Dale Hunter. I think they're very similar players. Um, they cross the line many times in their career. They always play on the edge, but they were really quality players and also played extremely physically. So Wilson is kind of a modern reincarnation of Dale Hunter. But in this particular case, I think he did nothing wrong. It's It was a clean hit, in my opinion. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there who disagree with that, and there's also a lot of people out there who agree with me on that. Um, a lot of these former players who are, have anal who are you know analysts now said that that was a clean hit. So um, I think it was clean. Um, if if you're gonna start punishing guys for throwing good shoulder checks, then you might as well just not have hitting in the game. Um, there's been a lot of big hits in these playoffs, um, and it's unfortunate that someone has that sometimes people get hurt, but that's the way it is in a contact sport. You know, a lot of people get hurt playing football. A lot of people get hurt playing hockey. That's just the way it is. If you want to have a contact, you if you play a contact sport, you know that you could get hurt. Every time I stepped out on the ice, I knew that I could get my head taken off and I could get injured. And it was worth the risk for me. And I loved playing hockey, and that's why I played hockey. Um, these players know that they're they could potentially get hurt, and. Um, I just I don't see what Wilson did wrong in this situation. So for me, the hit was clean. Um, if if you don't think the hit was clean, uh, I'd love to hear your explanation as to why. Um, I don't. He, as far as what I could see, is watching this multiple times. He hit with his shoulder. He didn't leave his feet, and he did the best he could to make it a uh, you know through the body and not just target his head he tried to hit him shoulder to shoulder and go through the body so I don't know what else Wilson's supposed to do in that situation um, that's just what I think uh, like comment share subscribe follow on social media check out off the wall hockey.com those links are in the description below um, thank you for watching this video help spread the word about this channel we want the subscriber count to keep growing um, Thank you again to everyone who's, who's already subscribed and watches all my videos. Uh, I really appreciate it, and I will talk to you guys soon.